What might this be? What might this be? Do you see? Do you see? This little thing here shows me whether Ops is currently recording. Now let's pause the recording and resume. Okay, the resuming was probably too fast to be recorded. Obviously, I cannot show this because it's indicating what's happening that I'm currently recording with Ops. So let's uh, start it in demo mode. Yeah, of course. So now it's not detecting anything, but I can show you what it would do. Right mouse button. So how this works is you tell it where you are recording your ops stuff and it will find the newest file by date modified and it will find out whether that file is currently under lock and key by ops because it's currently recording. And if it's not, then we will see the stop symbol. If it is, then we will either see this symbol or this, depending on whether the date modified changes. That's all it does. I programmed this today in like three hours or something. And now I finally have uh, an indicator on screen that I can either record if I so wish, um, or um, it will just be, I mean, that is of course an offsetting setting then. Because an ops you define what you want to see. Um, it's, um, Let's see here. I uh, will give you the source code here. It's not much. Few short classes and uh, some license, of course. But you can use it freely and distribute it freely. And then we have here images. That's how it works. These images are in there and you can change them. Uh, and you can change the window size by setting some... Oh, let's, let me just show you the help then. Okay. Ops recording detector. Uh, has some delay. So it's not instant, but it's good enough for me to realize, oh, God damn it, I forgot to, uh, to unpause or stuff like that. That's really the reason for this thing, right? Uh, was developed under Windows 11 local storage. So uh, the trick that I'm using to find out if the file is under lock and key, even Java's native methods did not actually detect it. So I had to use some trick. I just tried to rename the file and then Windows said, nope. And Java detected, nope. And that's how I'm using this. So sometimes you will actually have constant file renaming there. Uh, an underscore will be appended and then be removed again instantly. Uh, so far I haven't had any trouble with this in the last hour. <coughs> and um, it's it's programmed uh, safe. I mean, I've, I'm doing this professionally. Um, then uh, we, can, uh, we have to say what the folder is. For example, this. And since you probably have some spaces in there, a longer path, you should always surround that with quotation marks, the entire thing. Then the interval per, per default is 300. Uh, if you set them much lower, then sometimes you will see the pause symbol when it's actually re recording, at least for a moment, then it returns to recording because then the interval uh, of checking whether the date modified had changed was just too short. And um, the, but that's optional, you don't have to set that. Then we can set the window size by default is 70 by 70. And by default, it is borderless. So um, if you want to see a border, then you would also have to use different sizes as if it looks stupid. The window will not be resizable manually. Um, it will always be frontmost, but you can turn that off also. And you know, there's a demo mode, there's a debug mode, which just prints out what it's currently detecting and what the state is. And that's it. That's uh, really all it is. And I will use it henceforth and probably be pretty happy with it. I guess. Uh, I will post this on Discord, so if you need to download, go there. Owner of the place. That's me, apparently. Goodbye.